Okie dokie folks, so as you can see in front of you here, I have finally got around to finishing the Storm Eagle. It's been a, a long journey to get here, but I'm pretty happy with the way it's turned out. So, undercoated the whole thing Necron Abyss and uh, used Mechrite Red so it's not too bright a red on the flaps uh, for the control surfaces there. Uh, washed it all back, brought it up again by layering Necron on top to give it this lovely change in tones across the blues. Didn't really want to paint the Marines in the cockpit so no Marine in there and the cockpit is just sprayed with that reflection pattern across it which I think looks pretty awesome to be honest. Uh, winged skull or the skull of Nostromo on the top hatch there which is a green stuff press taken from the doors on the sides there melter guns on the front multi melters on their pivot the vengeance missile launchers I've underslung underneath the wings taken them from the top there because I just like this underslung pattern to it front opens and the inside is painted and you can't see it too well but there's a red glow on the floor from the strip lights and the panels in the doors there let's put the light back up there's a, a big magnet hanging down there which attaches to that little one on the front the back hatch is also not really secured in so inside there again the strip lights on the top the red glow in the bottom the doors in there and this hinge just clips nicely into there so they clip in and hold and holds itself clipped shut just underneath that carriage there which is pretty nice the landing gear I have done up so this one's still in flight Laz cannons on the side rather than the missile pods and yeah I am very very happy with the way this piece has turned out so we can pop that onto the flying base and we have my storm eagle bring that up a little bit more so that is storm eagle number one all done, all sorted. A lot of people say that these are an absolute pig to build. Um, they're not the easiest kits. If you've followed this uh, series through, following the actual build on the Storm Eagle, you'll know the bit that's awkward is actually cutting down the plastic top and bottom sections because they're ever so slightly too wide from the Storm Raven kit to fit this properly. Um, so this is Storm Eagle number one all done and all sorted which just means that I need to get started now <coughs> on Storm Eagle number two nothing quite like a challenge is there uh, Storm Eagle number two already has the flying base sorted for it so it's going to go on to here and there just to give it a sitting on a different height to this flying base from the normal one so then I'm gonna have my two storm eagles flying at different heights to each other gives them a little bit of dynamicism between them and it will be nice <coughs> a good friend of mine's just got himself the storm eagle kit and he wants a hand building it so we're gonna end up with a build day of the pair of us sat there building storm eagles which will be a nice day out and I might take the video along and do a build diary or something for everything there so thank you for watching I'm sorry it took me so long to get this final video done I just couldn't summon the enthusiasm to get it painted but it is looking pretty good to me thank you for watching guys thank you for sticking with me throughout this project and uh, yeah I can start facing the rest of them now all good all absolutely brilliant so, once more, thank you for watching, thank you for following the Night Lords, and I will hopefully see you all again in the very near future.
Goodbye, folks. <laughs>